The following morning in the cool dawn, the triple seven set off for the big one. Rarely had a plane been put through the ordeal that this plane was about to experience. All stations, uh, triple seven one made its third stop at 06, 16, 12 at 3.17 miles. And uh, we'll be taking the, run the runway and holding short. Car one copy. The test would have to demonstrate not only that the plane could stop before the end of the runway at maximum speed and thrust, but that it could also withstand the tremendous heat that would be generated in the brakes without catching fire. This test had been designed to reproduce the situation that faces a pilot when he has to brake with maximum force due to engine failure or an obstacle on the runway. The plane was at the maximum weight it would ever carry, laden with ballast to take it up to 288 tons. Cashman would accelerate the plane to a speed of 210 miles per hour and then apply the brakes with maximum force. Just to make the test even harsher, the brakes had been worn down to the minimum allowable thickness. One, two, three. Halfway down the 15,000 foot runway, Cashman slammed on the brakes. As the plane traveled another 4,000 feet, the carbon discs and pads heated up to 3,000 degrees centigrade. was that after braking, the plane could stand or taxi for five minutes without catching fire. That was the estimated time it would take fire engines to reach the plane. During that time, Cashman and his crew would be sitting on a potential time bomb. As the plane taxied carefully back to the stand, several fire engines waited, counting the seconds until they could put out the flaming brakes and cool the wheels. Each tire had a fuse plug which melted at a certain temperature before the tires became so hot they exploded. All 12 wheels were destroyed at a cost of three quarters of a million dollars. But the plane didn't catch fire and the brakes performed even better than expected. The test had put 9.7 million foot-pounds of energy into the brakes and shown that the plane could survive, almost intact. 